They're not gonna be able to get through this wall though. Ooh, run, run, run. Think we lose my hero here. Yep, lost my hero, but that's fine. Okay, can we hold our own? Hello and welcome to Darfall, where at the end of the sixth day, as the darkness rolls in, the enemies endlessly rush the base until it's entirely destroyed. My goal is to build defenses and last as long as I possibly can. Now, I'll be taking huge advantage of the pause in this game to build up resources as quickly as I can. We'll start off with a woodcutter base and a vegetable farm and have our archmage go off and fight right away. Two workers built up as we go. You really don't need the stone here too much early on. It's mostly gonna be food and wood, really for the whole game. That's going to be a big priority. Hopefully, I'll be able to find some of that nonsense with my Archmage as we go along. Grab a little bit of wood just on the way. We will need to build houses as well. Can't afford many of them, but one for now is fine. I'll try to get early level ups as well. If I kill enough of these enemies, I should be able to level up my hero. But not going to mess with any of these big bases just yet. Just try to kind of look around, see if we can get rid of anybody, pick them off from a distance. There we go. We got a crystal necklace already. Excellent. Get some energy, some hit points. Amazing. Throw that on. Boost our energy. Oh, we gotta run, though. We gotta run. They're not gonna be as fast as us, though, so we should be able to get away without taking any more hits. And we gotta go back to the base to heal. Got some more energy now, which should allow us to get a lot more resources as we go. Use up a little bit on the way. Just grab this pine tree. And our hero has 30 wood, up now to 60, and we're gonna wanna go back and heal. We should have enough now to build another woodcutter base. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to focus on getting more people first, which is gonna take extra food. So we'll need another vegetable farm before that. Throw it down. Let's travel here, grab this stone, and back out. Okay, we still got about half the day left. A little bit less than half. Another worker. Excellent. Okay, we've got enough food apparently for that. 20 food? I only had 17. Maybe not. Oh no, okay, so I can't afford it yet, but it can load its way through. That might help boost my speed just a bit. Finish off that last skeleton, and then we can break this. Maybe give us a little bit of resource. Maybe kill this guy first, though. Let's see if I can. It's an orc, I think. Back off and shoot every once in a while and keep running. Ooh, they do good damage. Wow. There we go. Got him down. We got a greenstone band. What is this? Three damage, 5% ability damage. Ah, not worth it. Okay, head in here. We got some spiders around. They might start attacking me when I shoot this. Let's see if they do. No, but this skeleton will. We'll just battle. They're a little bit inaccurate, so every once in a while they'll miss a shot. Let's see if I can win this. Maybe narrowly, but because of their missed shots, I definitely will. Level up. Excellent. Okay. Fireball early. Probably a good idea. I really want to go for the fire circle at some point. Just because it can hit multiple enemies, it's kind of interesting. But we'll go for fireball. Seems like kind of a no-brainer. Shoot a fireball out and destroy this here. Got a lot of spiders here. Gotta be careful of those. But the fire circle ability would be good against the spiders. Fireball out. Boom, and we got some wood in there, excellent. Because we do need more wood because we need to be building up a house for ourselves. And we got some wood over here as well. So luckily I can grab this wood and it doesn't cost me anything. Ooh, the spider's gonna start attacking me. Grab this up, come on, take the damage. Run, 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 run. Oh no, 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 no. A lot of spiders, can I make it out of this alive? Gosh, they are doing damage. Ooh, hero died, but I think I can go get my stuff. The hero will revive, hopefully with nothing else lost from it. That's a bit of a setback, but build a house in the meantime. I'm still the same level and everything. All right, and all my stuff is just sitting out there for me. Night is approaching, though. I gotta grab my stuff quickly and get back to the base. We'll have to build ourselves another woodcutter base as soon as we can. We got this already going. This is pretty good for the first day. Grab all this stuff. Come on, give to me. I even got a couple planks out of that. That's cool. And we got some food right over here. I'm not sure with the berries if that gives you just vegetables or if it gets, like, fruit. You know what? We'll grab it anyway. What does that give us? Ten berries. Head back to the base. Might grab some wood on the way. Let's grab wood from over there. We'll get kind of close to the base, but not fully close. We do have one idle worker right now. Not much I can do about it, though, because I can't make another woodcutter base just yet. We gotta really focus in on a lot of resources early, and then after that, we can kind of monkey around with converting resources into planks and so on. Much as my hero got, we got 15 wood on them. Still a bit of a ways away. We need 100 wood in order to make another woodcutter place. Bring it in. We got 45 plus 40. That's gonna be 85 wood. 90. Come on, keep, keep working at that. Once the enemies start coming in, we will get a little bit closer into leveling up, hopefully. Not gonna worry about putting down lamps. I know it's kind of hard to see right now. Ooh, I can break this, though. Yeah, I don't need this ring. Iron ore. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna do anything for me, but that's fine. Grab more tree, more wood for the base. Right now, the vision isn't really worth having, even though it's, yeah, gonna be really, really dark, but I should be able to figure out where the enemies are just fine to start here. It's 100 wood. Let's get woodcutter base. Now, we'll just, we'll leave all the woodcutters over here. That way, I can put just one road that way if I need to. Might even do that right away. We've got a little extra stone to use on it, I guess. Maybe that's a bad idea, but I'll get one quarry sooner or later, so it'll be fine. We got an enemy coming in here. Let's see where they are. Right here. Fireball. There we go. Get out of here. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. <laughs> Fireballs are too strong. At least for now, I can feel this way. They might attack some of my people for a second, but I gotta get the wood. I gotta use my energy pretty wisely. Don't see any new enemies just yet. Maybe I can look for some stone. I'm not actually sure where the stone is <laughs> relative to my base here. Oh, enemy there. Fireball. 
I honestly probably don't need to be using my fireballs. It's wasting some of my energy. Maybe I won't going forward because these enemies are kind of weak at the start. Here we go. There's the stone. So wait until I got 30 energy. We'll mine that away. And I got my stone. We're getting into a little fight here. Should be able to beat them fine. But they got some extra hits on me they wouldn't have otherwise just because I was busy mining stone. But now we'll have a couple stone for roads. A couple more roads going there. Almost enough wood now for another another something. Might even go for a quarry at this point to get more roads going earlier. Enemies out that way though. Hopefully they didn't kill one of my guys, did they? They're attacking my base. Where are they? There. Enemies coming in every which way. Crap. And I'm out of my magic right now. Get them all attacking my hero. That'll be fine. And I can go into the healing. I won't out heal their attacks, but it's not too far off. There we go. Nice. And everyone's still working, so we didn't lose any villagers there. Go over here to the pine tree. We gotta summon another worker, so we need more housing. The house takes some stone. Gosh dang it. Gotta get more stone. Chop one tree and go to the stone. Well, I guess we should just go ahead and build a quarry, and we'll maybe move some people off one thing onto another. Leveled up. Excellent. One skill point. Not really worth sending on anything right now. Put our worker over onto the quarry. It'll help gather some stone so we can get more houses. We need 50 stone. But our wood is coming in a lot quicker now. Got the roads there and everything. Day is approaching, which means once I get a little bit of stone here, I'm going to run off onto my journey. Travel through this little uh, canyon here. What we got this way? It looks like a base. I have fireballs, but I still don't know if I'm quite ready for that. Got an orc over this way, though. I can probably fight. Okay. Am I faster than you? Oh, nope. Don't attract them. Keep traveling down. Got some energy on us. Maybe we'll grab a little more stone while we move our way. House. Okay, we can build another house. Excellent. Put that down, which gives us another worker as soon as that's finished. And we'll need to put them on the food because we don't have a ton of food coming in right now. Now, it's important to continue killing things out here, primarily because if I don't, I won't be getting any more of these mana orbs, which are used to summon in people. That's a big part of it. And then also upgrading my hero is really important. Okay, what do we got? A chest plate used for hiring knights. Huh. So I can't actually put that on, unfortunately. Oh, that missed. That missed. Oh my goodness. It was so close, like a pixel. Okay, we got a lot of undead this way. Can I run right through here? Is there anybody in my way? Hopefully not. Ignore me, please. Ignore me. All right, here we go. Yep, managed to get through. You know what? I could actually fight this guy. If it's just one of you, that's not too bad. Fireball. Ah, fireball is getting rid of most of your HP. Got you down. And then this should be mine now. Go destroy that. That should also help with leveling up, right? Because every time you shoot, you get a little level. So get us towards leveling up quick. Need some food coming in. Another farm going. There we go. This is destroyed. Giving us copper ring. Probably not worth it. But some wood, though, is really nice. And head back to the base. Chop a tree on the way. Sure. Deposit all my goodies. Get me some food. Because once I have enough food, I can start stockpiling on mining again. And I have enough to make a house. Let's see. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Maybe make some roads some more. Just like three this way. A couple of there. Keep going for wood, though, for now. Wood is really, really what matters, because my big plan is to make a bunch of ballistas, which means I'll need a carpenter soon. Carpenter takes wood and stone, so stockpile that. This guy needs a house. Okay. House takes some stone, so you go gather a little bit of stone. There we go. House. Put it down. Ooh, gotta break this ring. Probably just gives me some iron, but whatever. I don't know if I really use that anyway, but freeze up inventory space anyway. Where do I want to go now? Where it makes the most sense? I want to keep leveling up my mage, so probably keep moving him around, but get some wood as well. That also works towards leveling up. They might even level up from just chopping this tree, frankly. Running out of food. I get this worker in, then we can get them on food. Then we get another woodcutter base, probably. Put it over on this side, though. Decent amount of forest over here. Right there. I think I can survive another night of just my hero here doing all of the work. But then after that, I need ballistas coming in. It's getting towards night, but I might be able to afford to send my hero out this way. Just for a little bit, maybe. Do I have skill points for this? Two skill points. I need one more skill point. But I'm really close to leveling up. So we'll get that in just a second. And I think leveling up actually heals the character as well. So I can be kind of reckless. Got any skeletons this way? Yep, there's one. Have the energy for fireball, yep. Level up, fireball two. I'm getting stronger now, so 19 damage a pop. Come on, one more shot. There you go. Now break this down. Gives me some free level up nonsense. Oh, we got an enemy here though. And you don't have a ton of health, but you have enough to be a problem. I think I can get rid of this guy and then break that. And I think I still have time. There. Okay, you're gone. I'm very close to dead, but it's okay because I can break this thing down, get whatever's inside it, and then run home. A plank? Okay, a plank. It's not the craziest thing in the world, but it's pretty good. Let's pause here. Gotta make sure I'm optimizing my time, though. Put people onto this. Do I have enough for carpentry yet? I need more stone. Head home. Go, 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 go. And then, yes, okay, I can make carpentry now. Put you maybe down by the farms. I'm leaving a lot of space around my base. You'll understand why, given a little bit of time. It's all part of the genius. Planks, we can make those. Just go for one of them right now. I don't have a ton of wood actually left over. Can we make a ballista? How far off are we? We need 10 planks. Yeesh, that's quite a bit. So we're going to need six more planks total. We'll send you to a tree. Wood and go. Because I shoot strong enough that I should be all right. I'm already level four, so my attacks are dealing a lot of damage. These guys are pretty weak. I don't see an enemy, so we're going to heal up a little bit more. One more plank. One more plank. Okay, break down that tree, and we'll have enough. Head back to the base. That's enough. And then, okay, attack you. We're still doing okay, though. It takes them a long time to break these things. The list that we need stone bricks as well. Totally forgot about that. Let's see. Stone bricks is going to be stonemason. 100 wood, 150. 50 stone. Not a big deal. We'll get a blade there. Three damage is nice. 
Okay, then go. Put on the blade. Dish out, what, 22 now? Excellent. Yes, 22 damage. Another enemy this way. Oh, an enemy there too. Jeez. Fireball. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Too many enemies right now. Dish out a lot of damage to these. 10 wood on us. Yep, that's enough. Okay, go. Turn it in. Get Stone Mason. Where's Stone Mason gonna go? Probably down next to this one. Boom. But then we get Ballista. Ballista will be really soon. So he's attacking over here, but it's okay. Just gonna stay focused. 24 damage. Yeah, we do crazy damage now. 24 damage per shot. Just gotta keep leveling up. Stone Mason takes 10 stone each. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Should be enough. We'll just have them go up to 8. Just need so much more wood for it. Start building towards more woodcutter bases is next. But we need another worker first. Farm has to come first because every Every worker uses up a certain amount of food each. So eventually that will be a problem. Now it's day though, so gotta also start moving our hero out. Day three, I think we're doing pretty good so far. Just gonna kill stuff that's nearby, gather up some more energy, more level ups. Build a vegetable farm right here. Boom, get rid of these skeletons. We got dark breastplate, plus 20 hit points, plus 10% healing, very nice. And break this. And we got some wood behind it as well to gather. Talisman, not really worth it. Already got a better one, but sure, we'll take it. Head back to the base. We got quite a bit here. Got some wood, we got some, some other nonsense. But we're eating through food fast. And we'll just take one of you off to have you go over here. 10 wood planks. And we've got enough stone bricks right now to make two ballistas. So once we have 20 planks, we can make two ballistas with wood. Two ballistas coming in. We're just going to surround our base with them. That's kind of the magic plan that I've been coming up with. You've got an apprentice hat there. One damage, 10 energy. Let's grab it. And then keep fighting. 25 damage per shot. Got a second copy of our necklace. Interesting. What's the nearest way to go? Let's go down to the left. Down to the left and straight up are kind of the last couple directions where there's darkness really close by. Okay, leveled up. Excellent. We got level two. So almost to the fire spot. Could also go with Fire Circle. That might be a more important direction to head down. Let's go for it. Let's use Fire Circle here. See if that works. Oh, wow. That sits down for a little bit, too. Just use some energy on these guys. Get rid of you. Fire Circle is actually a little different than I thought it would be. I thought it would just go around myself. Another camp over here just gonna hopefully not get seen by these guys because I don't necessarily have the energy to fight them right now. And eh, you know what? Let's fight them. A little bit risky, but we can do it. Eh, maybe that was a mistake. I think that might be the only guy there, though. Maybe I just go take him on. That way I can just destroy their base for free. Already halfway to level seven. Ooh, okay, so these guys are friends with them. Gotcha. Fire circle, come on, right, right here. Yeah, if they run through it, they'll get on fire, which is good. Want to break that base down there. Ah, I don't think I have time. It's almost nighttime. Oh, my ballistas should actually be able to defend the base, maybe though. Eh, it's a risk here. Enemies, jeez. There's just one more left. Can I still get to the base though? Do I have time? I don't think I have time. It's getting towards nightfall. I don't know if it's a risk to be away from my base. Ah, crap, there's more of them spawning in. Yeah, just go back to the base. I don't have the health or time for this right now. How many planks? I got 20 planks and 10. Wow, okay, so I should be able to make a lot of ballistas here. We got four total. And then just heal. Just gotta heal for a minute. I got myself pretty low on HP there. Look at my ballistas though. They're wild. They're so strong. Gotta have my hero attacking here too though. Don't, don't miss out on that. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Wow. You were hard to see. I need some boots. Still waiting on boots. If you can even believe it, I still have more woodcutter bases. <laughs> it is still wood that I'm waiting on. We got a giant over this way. They got quite a lot of HP, but I don't think they're going to have an easy time of it. Oh, wait, you're attacking that, though. Don't do that. But we should be able to get a decent amount of attacks in on you. And then we'll just keep ballisting you. Nice. Come on. And there it is. And we get arcane ring, 10 energy, 5 ability. Nah, not worth it. Let's see, where are you there? Come along, come along, Archer. Big mistake. The guys that come straight from my base really suffer. Gotta break down some of the nonsense in my inventory here. None of this is important to me. Mostly just getting myself iron ore. They are trying to destroy these, though. They're, they're somehow all spawning on the same one, pretty much. I think they're gonna succeed on this, unfortunately. We're really gonna be kinda suffering for wood for a second, because we're just gonna keep making planks. I wanna cancel. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. I can cancel. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. And we have enough now also to make another ballista. We're just gonna surround our base. Morning is upon us. We're gonna take our hero and head north, the final direction. Maybe I haven't gone there because there's a whole wall here. Okay, but we'll rope around anyway. Can't I fight spiders. Let's try the spiders. See if I can win. Oh, they don't stay on fire. That is a problem. I didn't realize that. Okay. Definitely cannot fight them then. Spiders are terrible news. Don't follow me forever, please. Jeez. Jerks. That almost wiped out my whole character. I can't believe that. Okay. Head back. Head back in. I thought they would stay on fire. Okay, man. Yeah. If I keep upgrading it though, maybe it gets better. Are these really worth it? It feels like fireball might just be the better option, even still. I thought maybe it would still be worth it. I guess it's a second ability, but it's more expensive. Maybe I just keep going fireball. Maybe I go for fireball three instead. Woodcutter base. Put it right back kind of where it was, I think. Maybe I can put it further in, even. I Honestly, these trees last so long. It doesn't really matter to get all of them. Throw two onto it. Need to build yet another one. Should be fine to send my hero out, even though they're a little bit low HP. Maybe we can level up one after even. Oh gosh, wait. How much health do you have? You're like a hero version. Gosh, you have a lot of health and you move pretty fast. Oh wait, you'll stay with me though. I can finish this guy off out here. Wow, you do a lot of damage. There we go. Your aggro gonna be from pretty far away here, buddy. Health a little bit low, but we knocked their health pretty low as well. Shoot, run. Okay, good, you're down. Another copy of the necklace, jeez. Yeah, not getting anything really better than that. Build another woodcutter base here, we'll be fine. And we need another house as well. Shoot this thing, shoot you. Nice, okay, you're gone. Woo, 
Now we can get this thing. Yeah, my health was real low that whole time. <laughs> get rid of this. Another woodcutter base. Kind of wild, but I want to get as much as I can out of it. Place down right next to it. I need houses, though. Houses, houses. Totally forgot about that. Oh, wait, what's this? Just like a structure? Do I get anything for this? No? Okay. Make another house. Right here. Running out of mana orbs, though. Finally. Okay, so I need to fight enemies for those. Gotta get more mana orbs. But I've managed to make a pretty massive base now. We're getting in wood really quickly. I just need more ballistas. I need to be careful at night not to have my bases break down. But it's okay if they break down because I can always rebuild them. My people stay alive. I guess while I wait for nightfall to happen so I get more mana orbs, we can just keep on focusing on planks. Get myself one more ballista. If we kill some wild animals as well, we just kind of wander around doing that. Might be enough to get us what we need to get another worker. Might not be fast enough to gather as much as we need, but we'll do what we can. And they don't do much damage to me anymore, thankfully. Skeletons don't seem to be super strong. Fireball, let's move back. One's down. Fireball, two down. Got a little bit of a hiccup there from the save happening, but two are down. And destroy this. One more blista. Nice. Head back to my town center. Maybe chop some trees on the way. This base looks so cool now. <laughs> Just completely surrounded. Blistas on all sides. And I can make more of them, which I definitely will. We're getting pretty close, though, to day six. Hopefully I can get enough blistas by day six to really do some damage. I don't know how well it's going to go necessarily, but I'll do my best. High towers don't mess around. Let's see if this guy is giant. Let's try to get them to come in close enough for more of them to hit them. I don't even know if they're going to get close, because these these ballistas have the pushback effect. Anyone else? Oh, we got a necromancer down here, though. This is where it kind of all comes down to it. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, follow me, follow me. Necromancer follows me, and then I go to the opposite side. Legendary boots over there of some kind? Boots of the wind. Come in closer and just get destroyed. <laughs> Throw you on. Energy, hit points, and movement speed. 10% extra movement speed. That's huge. Gotta repair all these things before I lose them. Do we have enough from the ballista? Yes, we do. I gotta break this. Break the road. Ballista there. Boom. Funny how archers will hit whatever's directly in front of them, so they can't even shoot me from here. Do we have a lot of extra stone? Yes, we do. So we can put down a lot of roads. So we got two roads that way. We need road down this way. I wonder if they can walk through my ballistas or not. <laughs> That's a problem I haven't even thought of. Might need to leave at least one space on each side. We'll test it on this side first. Let's send up this way. I know there's some stuff this way. Oh, crap. My hero died. Oh, they started attacking. I didn't even notice. Gotta respawn them. Ah, oh, crap. We gotta rush in here. Grab all this stuff. Oh, no. Come on. Grab, grab, grab. Grab, 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 grab. Run, 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 run. Can I even get out of this? Even if I die, at least I'll have the stuff closer to myself. Yeah, I think I think my character... Ooh, wait, we're gonna get away. We're gonna get away. We got hit. We got some movement speed. Let's put that on. Increase my movement speed there. Come back to the village. <laughs> now, if I put this here, can no one move through here? That's my question. Ballista's down. Do they have to go around? Yeah, they do. Oh, gosh. Worth it to break the ballista? I guess it'd be okay. Leave that space open. And then want ballistas a little bit further out on each side. But I should also probably get even another woodcutter base down. No, I think I'm okay. I think no more mana orbs. We're just gonna keep focusing in a sturdy defensive tower that fires rocks at enemies. Dealing splash damage. Has 1,000 health. Same amount as a stone wall. And is way more expensive, though. Is it worth it to build towers? I have a lot of stone bricks I can make, right? First, I should focus on ballistas, but the towers are tempting. Range is 8. Not as much range as the ballista. The damage is a little higher. DPS is lower though, isn't it? Probably better to go with ballistas then. It seems like just a better option. And we can always put down stone walls around rather than towers. This is what makes sense for me as of right now. I'm going to have to lock it in by the end of the final day. But we're only at day five right now, so I've still got a little bit of time. Hero is mostly just going to be aggroing. They're just going to be pulling people in because I don't want anything to die out here just yet. It needs to stay safe out here for my workers. But next night, all bets are off. Okay, we got a couple necromancers coming in that way. We're going to aggro both of them real fast. Fast. Shoot the first one, shoot the second one, run. Ooh, Necromancer is still attacking from that side. Okay, gotta shoot you some more. You to follow. Come on. There we go. Look at him rip through everybody, although this is taking fits. That's fine. We'll lose a little bit here, but then I'll just rebuild it in the morning. My center base is doing fine, but these, these guys out here are pretty rough. Place down another ballista right here. A lot of people lost their jobs today, I'm afraid. Oh, we got another Necromancer this way, a couple of them. Get them to aggro to me again as well. Stop attacking my towers. Don't attack my towers. Let's get in closer. Maybe that'll work better. There we go. Don't attack my towers. <laughs> Need more towers still, I think. Got a giant down this way. Three giants. Okay. Ooh, Scarlet Signet. Probably better maybe than what I have. This one has more hit points, but uh, doesn't do much besides that. The damage up is probably more important. Attack this way. We got a lot of enemies over there. Took some hits a little bit, but not too bad. Is it day six? Wait, no, it's, it's the beginning of day six, right? Has the time stopped or is time still ticking? Now we have a million enemies coming in. That makes sense. I was like, why the heck are there so many necromancers coming in? I might be able to get a lot of really crazy gear here. That is kind of the... Oh, let's go in here. We've got more necromancers coming in. Oh my gosh. But this base is excellent. Use E. Burn them. Yeah. They'll walk into the fire. Kind of hang out and heal a little bit. As soon as I can get another ballista, that'll be great. Oh crap, my hero has low HP. Shoot. <laughs> there they go. There they go. But ballistas are still shooting out. As soon as my hero responds, I'll be able to get my stuff back up. It's four o'clock. Wait a minute. We're actually, time is still moving, but just barely. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to make it through, maybe. Come on. 
hero, hero respawn, where are you? Wait, what's this? We got Keeper's Greatsword. We probably want to get that then. Get them to follow my guy here, kind of confuse him if I can. Oh, there's so much stuff I want to get. Ah, oh, dang it. Burn you guys. We gotta go around the giants. They're probably gonna do a lot of damage to me if I let them hit me. Fireball. Oh, missed him. Doesn't matter. Strider, grab this. Okay, put on some gear. What time is it? Five o'clock. Okay, we're getting there. Get the sword. How's my base doing? I'm gonna repair this ballista. Enemies are nearby. Okay, not sure who's attacking where. Oh, we got an archer on this. That's what's slowly picking away at my carpentry. Shoot. There we go. Stopped him. Excellent. Wait, did I make it through? What happens now? I made it through that night. Okay, maybe this is the final day, but that night was crazy. <laughs> repair this. I don't even know what the heck's supposed to happen now. Maybe this is actually the final day, and then I get a night of just unbelievable terror. That was insanity. Okay, uh, what do I want to do then? What do I want to do? Let's, we got to put down something. We got to, we got to get wood coming as quick as we can. So maybe, because I've got a lot of stone left over, maybe we use that to make walkways. My woodcutters. <laughs> oh gosh, wait a minute. We don't have, we lost a couple of our farms. Okay, so we don't have any food. I guess we don't need it right now. We need woodcutter base. Yeah, we only have two of them right now. And apparently that's like, that's like nothing, I guess. Oh wait, we're still, we're still crafting these. Let's stop making planks. I think I've got enough planks. We need to get wood and actually keep it. That's what's happening is all my wood is going straight into planks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at all these guys here just hanging out. Out. They don't know what to do. Honestly, my whole day is probably just gonna go into restocking what I've got going on. I don't even know if it's worth doing the woodcutter base. I might, might not even do that. I wish I could have them do something though for free. They just have so many extra workers right now. We'll put down one more woodcutter base at least. We'll put it down pretty close to our base. That way it acts as more like a, just a shield and lets them come in closer because I don't need them to be so far away trying to attack my stuff. Probably one over here as well. This production issue is a problem. Just put it like here. Just kind of make shields out of them. That'll bring them closer into our towers, but it's mainly the towers that I want. Once all these people are working, then we'll get wood in really fast, and we'll just keep, keep going towards planks. There's just so many people. It's crazy that I'm still alive. <laughs> I was expecting to just be fully gone there, but I think this is gonna be night six, but surely that's where I lost last time. I probably just got slightly past midnight, which means there actually is a little more game here to be had. Fully filled in our ballista wall. Gotta repair ballistas as well. Cancel everything I got here. Focus my wood towards repairing these guys. 15 wood for this one, 15 for this one. All right, true final night approaches. I guess I'll just throw extra ballistas kind of along the outside of the wall. If I get another one, maybe I'll throw that one on the top as well. Extra fence on one side is probably a good idea. A couple necromancers coming in. Shoot the one in the back, then the one in the front. We got a lot of necromancers coming in though. In the bottom, don't see any yet. Just a ton coming in from the top. Broke them along a little bit. Keep them coming, keep shooting. Oh boy. Okay, we've got a lot on the left there coming in. They'll break down some stuff, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah, never ended up building any lamps. <laughs> I guess it's like the final night here, right? So maybe we throw down a lamp. I don't have much charcoal, but I have enough. See a little bit on each side. Keep going. If I get enough wood, I'll build a charcoal burner as well, just so I can guarantee see some light here at the end but our lamps will come in we'll be able to see finally for the first night of the game come on yes i can see i can see everything they seem pretty dead set on shooting my ballistas fireball this guy there's you're down okay fireball you yep get distracted by me that's fine oh wow a lot of giants Move back around shoot this guy if i can distract anybody that'd be great yeah they're not gonna really get through this wall though Ooh, run 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 i think we lose my hero here yep lost my hero but that's fine okay can we hold our own probably not <laughs> Yeesh. But we are dishing out good damage. Nine more seconds still. How's it going? Trying to attack, but they're having a tough time getting in, frankly. This might be a pretty good system, although some of my towers are going to break from the necromancers. Here, respawn. Where am I? Run, 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 run. Ooh, <laughs> I can't even get out of there at all. Gosh. Destroy them, destroy them. Yes. It's kind of working, kind of working. When they get in close, they're getting shot a lot. Day seven. I'm on day seven. The demo says it only lets me live until day six, but I'm definitely on day seven. Unacceptable. <laughs> How could they do this to me? And I respond. Okay, let's immediately, we'll throw on this, just because it's nearby. Let's use E, burn these guys. E again. Oh, there's 20 second cooldown. Gosh, Q, shoot you, you're a skeleton. Easy enough. Grab the amulet, run. Boom, throw on the amulet. Keep shooting the skeleton, I guess that's fair. And then run, 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 run. Oh, a lot of skeletons, holy cow. That's intense. As long as they can't shoot my, my home base, I guess it's okay. Oh, wow, coming from both sides now. But I got a lot of them still on this side to shoot. Day seven, three o'clock. If I could make it through this day, that'd be crazy. But at least getting as far as I am, I think is pretty good. Start burning you guys, and we're gonna run. Run, 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 run. You maybe chase me? Yes, you will. Okay, yeah, drag them around, keep my base alive. And we got some necromancers over this side. Gosh, can I live this? Can I live this? And, how, and for how long can I live it? Oh no, dang it. Okay, we're still shooting, we're still shooting. We're still doing okay, we're surviving. It's four o'clock. Oh, we're not gonna quite make it, not gonna quite make it. Come on, keep shooting. Seven seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. It's gone right before I respawn. Crap. <laughs> but I have survived until day seven. So you know what? That's got to be pretty good. I had a lot of fun with this game, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to leave a like, even a comment to let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.